San Antonio, Texas, 80 miles south of Austin, where Mac Brown has spent 16 years as the head coach at the University of Texas. Tonight, that book will close as the final chapter in his brilliant career is written here in the Alamo Dome. The third highest ranked team ever to play here provides the opposition, led by one of the nation's elite quarterbacks. The 10th ranked Ducks of Oregon. The Longhorns of Texas. The Bolero Alamo Bowl is next. Let's go. Let's go. Third down conversions this year, but you don't convert a lot of third and 18s. Ducks thinking about a blitz, and they bring it. McCoy down the middle, and it's intercepted. And it's Patterson coming the other way. Avery Patterson, and he's in. Touchdown. Oregon. As Todd said, don't get behind schedule. Third and 18 is behind schedule. And it's a 37 yard interception return for a touchdown. McCoy, late throw over the middle, high, deflected, Patterson, the senior, safety, takes it 37 yards, 7-0 Ducks. So much, so there's the numbers on Marcus this year. And a quick snap, looking for his first throw, he might not get it off. And again, shows his running ability right there. And that's something that was taken away from him with that knee injury you talked about. To transfer weight and drive the football downfield. And here he is running again. And a first down. Pick up of well more for Marcus Mariota. That keep was very effective. They're going 100 miles an hour right now. Running to his left and running for his life. And he got away from Texas again. And he might have another first down as he's knocked out of bounds right at the first down marker by Carrington Bynum. I think this march down the field before contact if you don't disrupt things at the front. Play action pass this time. Mariota down the middle on the run. And another first down at the 12 for Josh Huff. Josh Huff, one of our impact players. We haven't had a chance to tell you. If you leave a crease, a good quarterback like that's going to find it. Unfortunately for Oregon, just too much yardage needed for that conversion. Ducks don't kick a lot of field goals, whether it be Maldonado or this guy, Wogan. Matt is four out of five, as you saw on the season. 25-yard attempts, and it's up and good. So Oregon had a good drive going there before they so in Oregon territory at the 43. And now Bergeron's going to give Brown a breather. He goes down at the line of scrimmage, might have lost a yard. That Cray Olamu in on the stop. Kind of life here at the Alamo. Texas moving Jeff Coat around in a stand-up position. Blitz coming. Easy throw and catch to Tyner, the freshman. And he's run out of bounds on the Texas sideline with a first down. So on third and five, he got ten. A little talking going on. But the back was wide open anyway, and good decision. Mariota on first down. He's going to run with it again. Boy, he's got great wheels. And I don't mean just for a quarterback, for anybody. And now limping off. Important to this offense is that makes the defense account for him and add extra people at the line of scrimmage setting up play action pass. There's the play action right down the middle of the tight end. And Bayless got it down to the 11 yard line. And lost a wheel, but a pickup of 27. See, here's Bayless. Look at all these guys right around the line of scrimmage. You got to account for the quarterback run. Little play fake. He slips behind the linebackers, and that's an easy throw for Marcus Mariota. And I think more than anything, that play is set up by the fact that. Well, North Carolina. And this one just inside the right upright. So two field goals by the freshman. And he gives Oregon now a six point lead. But it could have been worse. Jackson Jeff getting fitted for crutches guys does not appear that he can return boy it's terrible four wide receivers for case McCoy McCoy down the middle 
Should have been caught by Shipley, but he couldn't hold it. Ryan Jackson put a hit on him, and the ball came out. Talked about this secondary of Oregon. They have played a lot of ball together. A couple of these guys have been playing since their freshman year. They have great communication. They work well together. Ryan Jackson is safety out of Hoover, Alabama with a perfectly timed. Yeah, went from about six and a half yards per carry to about three and a half. This is a run all the way again. But Mariota, the secondary, and his helmet comes off That's again, but he's again. got a first down. So that's the second time he's lost his lid. The line of scrimmage. Second down and nine. Blitz off the corner. And Mariota's going to run the other way, and he's going to get another first down. So again, that's his sixth run of 10 yeah. yards or more. Second down and 10 from the 26. Here's a long one down the middle, complete. And it's Josh Huff. Pickup of 24 on a first down Oregon. Well, Josh Huff again has been a little bit quiet. Nice job running right down the seam. Zone defense for Texas. That's a pop for number eight. Here he is, play action. Down the middle, wide open to Anthony Thomas. And Thomas down to the 36-yard line. And just like that, again, they've played, Texas's defense has played solid. They've got negative plays, but in two plays, Oregon has completely flipped the field and is in scary, scoring territory. Again, play action. Hit from behind, but throwing, that one's incomplete. Hit the dirt, Josh Huff, the intended receiver. And we've got... A Longhorn player down. That's Jeff Coat. Oh boy. Jeff Coat was in pursuit. One of the Oregon players was trying to help him up, and he said, "Uh, uh, hold on a second. He is up on his own." Well, he's a relentless pass rusher. Has had a great season. You know, he missed the final seven games of the year last year with a torn pectoral muscle. Came back strong from that injury, and really has been on fire here the last seven or eight games. You know, a lot of times we talk about time of possession. You don't think that's a big deal. And with Oregon, it isn't. They're second to last in the country right. in time of possession because they score like this every couple right. minutes. They only have two drives of close to five minutes. They both came in the UCLA game. They're on the move right here with 139 left in the half. And coming wide is Thomas Tyner. And Collard almost, but he got extra yardage, and he's close to another first down. As well. And the way Jackson Jeff goes back out there for the Longhorns. Mariota shovel pass inside. First down, Moore. Heading to the end zone. Touchdown, Josh Huff. Number 19 reads the play and is in position. He gets off the block and he's right there. Unblocked. Can't make the tackle on Huff. And Huff, as all good ducks do, goes airborne. Huff is a physical receiver. He's over 200 pounds, has a very strong lower body, and he. But Mariota's done tonight. Tyler said 132 on the ground, 130 in the air. And he's going to the air and a slant down the middle. And a first down at the Texas 43. Josh Huff again. 20 more yards for the Ducks. It's just a, a simple look route. I mean, he's not running any. Opening 50 seconds of the quarter. Mariota down the middle and complete again inside the 25. That one's to Braylon Addison. So they're mixing it up here. Marcus has made that was not on the mark, really. The longest field goal that Wogan's hit this year is 38 yards. This is a 39-yard attempt. He's two for two tonight. And he's perfect. Doing a good job. True freshman's got nine points in the ball game. Davis in motion. McCoy going to go down. He throws it at the last second, and it's almost intercepted. Well, that's a good job by the Oregon defense, but... The so they can get it in big chunks. Second down at 12. And this time, Mariota got away again. Throws on the run, and he throws a strike to Addison. And it's a first down. You know, and that right there shows you the difference in Marcus Mariota and some of the other quarterbacks that have been in this Oregon offense. We've seen the running ability, the escape ability, but watch this throw stepping up on a line to the sideline. He's the best. 
And Tyner is going to empty the backfield. They're going to flip it out to Tyner, though. Avoid of a shoestring tackle, and Tyner's got another first down. Almost a nice defensive play out there on the corner, but he got through the bottle him up, bottle him up, and then they explode on you for a big play. And that time a power run by Marshall. They ran over Jenkins, and it's a first down to Oregon. Some of the effects of that really showing here right now. Mariota on a seam route complete. And that's Johnny Munt, the freshman tight end, who they think might end up being a star someday. Pick up a 20. Nice job. By the freshman tailback back in there with Mariota. And Mariota down again the other side. And Josh Huff, tough catch. And a good throw, 23-yard pickup pass by the Longhorns. Just makes it second down and 10. Bergeron, he's going to go down for a loss. Raheem Cassell, who was, or Raheem Castle, who was shaken up earlier in the ball game, made the stop from his 9 to punt. Jackson Shipley now runs up, expecting, I guess, a fake. He's just going to let it go again. This is the second time tonight they don't really have anybody back there. And they're going to down it at about the two yard line. Wow, you can't do it any better than that. Well, Texas went for a block, so they brought extra rushers in. That's why they vacated the back end, but uh, you got from the three yard line. Case McCoy back in there. And Brown tripped up, lost yardage. Kaylee Keeping, the senior, made the stop. 24 and ticking. And Texas' longest pass play tonight's been 11 yards. Let's see if they get more than that here. He might not get the pass away. He won't. Joe Walker, the outside linebacker, with a sack. Walker's going to come right through here, and Bergeron's just going to miss him. His eyes go the wrong place. He doesn't see the linebacker. He doesn't end up blocking anybody, and that one should have been picked up. Third down and 15. McCoy moves his tight end, and in the shotgun, trying to throw in third and long. Steps up, zips it down the middle, intercepted, coming the other way again. For the second time tonight, this is Derek Malone. And Malone is going to score. Touchdown, Oregon. The second pick six. Texas here again stuffed on the run. Taylor Hart made first contact on Malcolm Brown, and it's a loss of the ball game. Derek Malone, the most improved player I know. There. Oregon defense and an honorable mention Pac-12 player his second interception of the year this one for a touchdown Texas from the 20 yard line They'll keep it on the ground Bergeron's gonna lose two or three yards Got a whole flock of ducks on his back You know one coach is going out on a sad note Nick Alioli a longtime defensive coordinator said you know both of them much more so than Case McCoy and this time swoops is going down for a loss. Oregon played it beautifully. Rodney Hardrick, the middle linebacker, on the stop. And it's fourth down. He would have been a high pick, too, but he's decided to come back. And that makes Oregon one of the favorites next year, for sure. Along with guys like Byron Marshall, who just ripped off another nine-yard run. The Browns, the very best in what is next. But he's a Hall of Famer. Just couldn't quite win number 245 tonight. Oregon too much and too good. And he knows it. And they win it. The Ducks 30 to 7 tonight. And there's a little respect. Marcus Mariota for the hug for the coach. And as you can see by the number of cameras, there's a lot of people that think as highly of Mac Brown as Todd and Holly and I do.